Well, a day before Easter. How fun. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, we were doing, like, cleaning. So, again, uh, and we're minimalists. So as we clean, there's still things that are laying around that we probably haven't used for more than a year, and we just got rid of a bunch of stuff. Wow. It never ends, right? It's, it's, those are the so-called schnibbles, you know, when you move and all of a sudden you have piles of stuff and then you still have piles of stuff and they breed while you move part of your stuff to the other place and then they breed some more. It's horrible. Uh, but we're getting there. Uh, we're going to clean out the hull today. I'm sure we'll remove a bunch of stuff we don't need. And... Um, so in, in that process, I found uh, French press. Um, I'm not an expert by any means in coffee. Uh, that's, I leave that to the guys like James Hoffman and stuff. Uh, and if I, if I can find it, I'll link it in the description. If not, look up James Hoffman, French Brewing Method, something like that, and it'll pop up. <clears throat> and I developed uh, my own, as far as I know, I call it uh, my minimalist kettle coffee both with a K. So kettle, K-E-T-T-L-E, -T -T -E, and then coffee, K-O-F-F-E-E. -E. Um, and if you just pull up that word, minimalist kettle coffee, you'll come up to my, uh, my uh, brewing method. It's essentially the same thing. So uh, what I did is yesterday I ground, I ground uh, 21 grams each of coffee, one destined for the uh, French press, the other one, my method, which I just put in a little saucepan, uh, saucepan, sauce pot, whatever. It's, I don't know, just something a little higher. And then I measured out 700 milli, uh, milliliters of water and uh, heated it to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about the max I can get here at my altitude, 6,100 feet. And uh, took 350, poured it into the French press, 350, poured it into mine, let it sit for four minutes, then agitate it. You're an idiot, I hate you. Uh, you're agitating me. <laughs> no, stir it with a spoon, right? Uh, and then brew it for the last four minutes. So it takes eight minutes total brew time. Now the French press is neat because you push the plunger down just till the screen goes under the level of the liquid and you pour that off. And mine, I just have a little sieve, you know, for like limes or whatever. I, you know, it's, it's just a little colander, a little handheld thing, and I put it over the cup. And I just pour it out of the pot and just, uh, you know, drip it, dry, uh, drip it dry. And I didn't do anything else. I didn't salt it. I didn't add a sploosh of water to sink the grounds. I didn't do any of that. <clears throat> and I let it sit for three minutes, and then I did the slurp test. Um, you don't sip coffee like this. You go, right? You actually, uh, you try to get it into an aerosol, and then you let it go through your nose, and you get kind of the aromatics, okay? I found the French press actually harsh, as if it had been brewed by a machine. Now, if you guys have ever had machine-brewed coffee, which most of you have, I mean, you plug it in, the drip coffee maker, you plug it in, you hit the button, you go do whatever, it comes back, it's already made sitting on a hot plate just cooking to death <laughs> anyway, it's got like a, a harsh quality I don't want to say acidic because it's not it's, it's, there's just a, a twinge there's something in that and mine was actually mellow I mean it was mellow oh <clears throat> two other differences huge well two two four eight <laughs> sorry um <laughs> Uh, two other differences. The French press doesn't get rid of all the liquid in the press itself. You, you actually leave a little bit of coffee behind. Um, and I try swirling it around. It, it, it's a pain. All right. So I wind up with like less coffee. And, and, and there's no crema in the French press coffee. But there's this beautiful, delicious, well, you'll see it in the thumbnail. There's this beautiful layer of crema in mine and it, it looks almost Turkish baby or Greek depending on um, if you brewed coffee before the war or after the war the Greco-Turkish war apparently they had a big fight and now Turkish coffee all of a sudden is Greek coffee 
whatever. That's for Europeans to figure out. They've been killing each other for since Neanderthal walk in France. I don't care. You know what? That's their thing. We're our thing. We're the new world. Yay, yes. Um, and so uh, <clears throat> that's that's kind of how I, I, you know, my method is actually smoother and more deliciouser and, you know, all that stuff. So, um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and not because it's a hand-me-down. I mean, uh, th there's, there's another aspect to this. I'm going to give the French press to my daughter rocks because she uses it. And unlike all these TikTok idiots, I actually have like the bona fide Tourette syndrome. I mean, if you look back at my videos, you'll notice I don't have huge muscular tics anymore. And believe it or not, I, I attribute that to low carb. Because I, 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 have, I have literally, like, just been sore, twitching. Big muscle takes, like, you know, you know I, I've been called a, a retard and everything else ever since I can imagine. So if you people love having Tourette's and you think it's a big deal, you know, more power to you. Uh, for me, I suffered. I wouldn't trade it in, even though it's a pain in the ass, because I have superior intellect, which I don't mind at all. And again, being on low car, and that's not a bragging thing. It, it ain't bragging if you can do it. That's a, that's actually quite very humble. I have superior intellect. I solve problems. That's what I do. That's what I do. And you give me a book, or you give me a machine, and I will reverse engineer and figure out how the thing works. Now, if that's other people too, I, I, especially mechanics, mechanical people, computer people, language people, they have superior intellect. Musicians, superior intellect. Um, does that mean that other people are stupid? No, it just means we have superior intellect. Um, superior, like the best, the highest level, the highest rated. Um, you figure all that out, you work out the terms, you get triggered, you learn what you need to learn, don't be ignorant, go out there, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now that's all aside, so now I've gotten rid of the sensors. Um, but one thing I do still possess, and you'll look back in my videos and I'll, you'll see my lower... I'll do this a lot. And that just happens because talking doesn't involve like an actual mechanical process. If I were actually to sit here and study something, like if I, if I work on my calculator and I'm actually thinking to myself, um, you know, the square root of 2 times 6. Okay, if I'm actually working with my muscles, playing piano, for example, um, building something, cutting something, cooking, literally in the act no twitches whatsoever nothing and then uh, talking of course um, you know I have plenty of time to get uh, a twitch in there or two uh, but the big muscular twitches are gone but what I do have left is this I call it the egg squisher twitch because I hate this thing you have to grab eggs rather daintily and you, you almost cradle them and I always give them a little uh, I can't do anything about it. I, I, my wife handles eggs. I tell her, unless you want to bust it all over the damn kitchen. <laughs> if there's a crack, a micro crack anywhere in that egg, I will have found it. Okay. Uh, well, I have this tendency to grab onto the top of the French press, the, the glass, to pull it out to clean it, and I'll give it a. Uh, and I have rather powerful grip, and uh, I did shatter another French press doing that. Rather embarrassed, pisses me off. Oh, well. So I'm giving it away for two reasons. One, I think it makes crummy coffee, but that's not the first reason. The actual reason is, um, actually the first reason is Roxy doesn't have one, and I think she likes them, and I will give this one to her. The second one is she had one and it broke, and I wound up breaking one. And then the third reason is it makes crummy coffee compared to my method. Now, if she wants to get rid of it, sell it, I don't care. So hell. Allergies. <laughs> <clears throat> but actually, during the day, they don't impact me. They're not as bad as other years. Um, so anyway, I'll stop this short on the uh, actual coffee thing. And uh, we'll let you guys go. We'll, we have a couple other videos that I want to make on some other stuff here. So, yeah, the garbage dude just got here, and they're going to make a lot of noise. So we'll talk soon, guys. Have a good one. Bye.